I haven't always liked accounting oriented numbers in business, but I've always loved numbers that are analytical. And the thing that I found is that businesses that are more successful analyze more things than businesses that are not successful. It's fascinating to see how long does it take for someone to become a customer? How many overtures do you have to make? What happens uh, if you um, send a mailing to a certain number of people? What percentage open up? Uh, what percentage of the people who open will buy a certain product? Um, how long does it take for a person to buy the second product after they have bought the first product? Um, how do sales compare um, versus this time last month versus this time last year? Um, what trends can we see by looking at uh, sales numbers uh, seasonally? What can we understand about our business? These things are really fascinating to me. And the more you begin to look at these kinds of numbers, the better you'll be as a business person and the stronger your business will become because you'll have command of the underlying data that drives your business. Where a lot of entrepreneurs get in trouble is not liking accounting related data and then also not liking this analytical data that can be so helpful to them. And so all the numbers of their business are a complete mystery to them. The, the people who are really great in business are the people who have command of those numbers. And I remember as early as working for an entrepreneur in high school that he did all these numbers in his head. He knew how much he should earn by what time of day. He knew um, when he sold a sandwich what percentage was profit. He just knew these numbers. He knew what his uh, um, utility bills should be on any given month and where they were, you know, where they should be. He, he knew pricing of some of the products and things that he would source. He just had command of these numbers. Today we have such great tools. We have so many apps. We have so many ways of looking at these numbers. And, and if you're using a service, a software service and they provide analytics it's fascinating to see all of the things that you can do you can look at your videos you can look and see which ones rank better than others you can see how they're performing relative to other videos at given times there's just so much information available to you now your job is to figure out are there numbers that I'm not paying attention to that I should pay attention to and what are those key numbers those key indicators that I need to pay attention to to really grow my business. You know, a simple number like knowing how many people have bought a particular product and really driving um, toward getting more people to buy a particular product can really make a difference. Uh, knowing how many people in any geographic area are uh, clients of yours or in your audience and then driving your efforts to improve that number. Uh, knowing how many people um, didn't open a particular email and then deciding that you're going to really target those people with a special offer, with a spe special message. These are all valuable steps in understanding how to uh, grow your business. Numbers are sometimes um, tedious, sometimes they're boring, sometimes uh, they're, they're such a mystery that we don't want to deal with them, but there's no question that a, bit, a greater command of numbers can make a difference in our business. For example, I was talking with someone who's into uh, email marketing, and we were talking about the trend today toward emailing your audience um, every day. And he said, well, we email our audience sometimes two or three times a day uh, because we keep our audience so active and so engaged that we really want, number one, we want to get people who don't want to hear from us off our list 
so that our list will be, will, 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 our numbers will be more reflective of those who really want to do business with us. And then second, you know, we want to drive engagement and interest. We want to present our offers to our audience over and over again. And he has seen a tremendous increase in his business as a result of doing that. Now to some people, it's like, oh my goodness, they're emailing us again. I don't want to deal with this person anymore. But to the person who is aligned with what this person sells and their messaging, it's a welcome email because they're being reminded throughout the day whatever that subject is that that uh, here's the latest here's the latest on fitness news here's the latest on supplements here's the latest on um, you know whatever the subject is so you have to look at your numbers in this way clear up uh, those numbers that are not as meaningful to you I mean you have to track them but really get yourself a handle on the key numbers that can drive your business and this could be anywhere from a dozen to three dozen numbers frankly that could could drive your business i know people who when they look at their business they are looking at so many numbers to just see where they are that that is really has been the secret to their growth looking at these numbers in depth paying attention to them in depth and then acting on these numbers um, taking steps to improve their business based on what the numbers show them. So analytics are your friend and uh, I want you to take a second look at how you can improve that in your business. Uh, if you're not looking at certain things, begin looking at them. And, and by all means, make sure you come up with numbers specific to your business. You know, there are a lot of numbers out there they will say do this by this time or most people do this or the other. Uh, again, the businesses that are most successful have numbers that are native to their business that they understand. They understand their business in and out because they understand how their customers respond, how their products perform, and how their marketing efforts make a difference. Pay attention to those numbers. Get more numbers to look at. Look at them and let those analytics drive your business to positive places. If you like this tip, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you've liked it. Share it with someone in your network. Subscribe to my channel, make a comment, and uh, make sure you come back. I'll see you next time.